in my community, uh, let's face it, we're five minutes away from the Shibanakity Residential School, five minutes away. Our, our children have been going to school off the reserve. And so it's predominantly English here. But other reserves, such as the ones that are like in Cape Breton, New Brunswick, Northern New Brunswick, they'll, they'll use these words. But we do try to teach our kids at the school the, from primary to grade 12 how to say these words and stuff like that, just to hang on to them. It's a struggle, but at least somebody's trying. You're likely quite familiar with the common 12-month Gregorian calendar. For centuries, it has been the internationally accepted civil calendar. However, long before European contact, the calendar of the Mi'kmaq people of Nova Scotia looked very different. Its 13 months notes the cycles of the moon and the natural phenomena that the Mi'kmaq peoples observed and used to survive here for thousands of years. January in Mi'kmaq is pronounced Bunamu Igus, and it comes from the word Bunamu, which is a, a tomcod. So it's called our frost fish. So Bunamu Igus, tomcod moon, that's when they would run. February is Abuganajit, Abuganajit, and um, that means the snow blinding moon. And apparently it was, uh, the sun was bright and the snow was pretty thick and our people would just call it the snow blinding moon. March, Siuk Gewigus, it's like a, the forerunner of spring. Siuk is spring in the, the season. Spring, so Siuk Gewigus, the spring moon. April is Benedemuigus, kind of a hard word, Benedemuigus. And all that means is um, the egg laying moon. The birds lay eggs, Benedemuigus. May, May, Skulchuigus which means the frog croaking moon. It's automatopoeic. It's one of those words that, you know, nibinigos. It's uh, the leaf button moon. See, it's all outside, whatever you see. Nibi is a leaf, so nibinigos, the leaf budding moon. July is beskewigos. That's um, the birds shed their feathers moon. Beskewigos. Kizigwegewigos is August. Uh, berry ripening time. Time to go pick the berries and, you know, apples and stuff like that. We go we go, it's September. And that's uh, the mate calling moon. That's when the animals, you know, look for their mates. We go we go, we go, we go, we go, we go. The animal fattening moon, when the animals beef up for the winter. November is gepte ge we go, and that's um, when the rivers and brooks start freezing over moon. When it just gets a thin coat of ice on it, that's gepte ge we go. Gesek ge we go, it's December. Gesek is Mi'kmaq for the winter, the winter moon. Gesik kind of means a hard time. So winter's very hard, especially here in, you know, Eastern Canada. <laughs> the word for the, the 13th moon, and it's Ahadigus. Ahadi is something like halfway. So I think it's the halfway moon, 28 days. Our people noticed it, you know, obvious, full moon. 28 times 13 is 364, which is pretty darn close when you think about it. We're a Stone Age people knowing this about the astronomy, one day off. So I think that's pretty impressive.